right guys, so we're out here with us Varna today. We got Eric on the Excite Lawnmower. We're gonna walk you through it. We're gonna talk to the product team. We're gonna see what it's all about. I can tell this guy's loving it. They said just mow a little bit of land. He's mowing tons of it because he loves it. How cool is this thing? Manicure gongs. This stuff is rough. I want yeah. to feel the, the raw force. The raw force of it. Um, we're not holding back at all on this. Now you can actually see in reality Busted. how big those casters are. You can see um, the funny knobs here. Notice they're skip toothed. That's your traction side. That gives you a little ease so that when you, so that uh, new residential people, when they turn, they don't do twirls. So it has a yard. beveled edge kind of to it. Yeah. Oh, it nice. Helps. It helps. Yeah. And it actually works. Uh, it, 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 it won't prevent Tokyo sliding into base, right? You know, you still throw your lawn to it. Yeah, but, just, but it also says that uh, startup procedures like this. Brake is out. So brake is in to start up. Sticks are in neutral. You can help it here. Okay. When you push this in, there's a um, showroom delay so that a kid doesn't accidentally start this. So hold it down for three seconds, then the crank will start, and then stay on it as it cranks. Okay. There's no key. There's there is a key, but what this is an enable key, so that when you pull this, it's, it can't be started. Gotcha. Yeah. I actually park outside at my house. I'm, I live way out on a farm, and you know we I leave all the keys out so people can't. It's very difficult to defeat the system. Gotcha. So I can just. It's also a uh, anti theft device in okay. reality. Um, in reality, I'm going to start uh, in uh, at a fairly three quarters RPM. In reality, I always recommend just start at full RPM. It's a combination cooler. So that's kind of how I'll do it. I do it because it's just loud and it'll be. I'm not nice if I run it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start it. One last thing I want to show you is. Um, the pro style height of cut so that when you're playing with it, this is in transport mode. I call it this the Barbie mode. You want to get that Barbie that was left in your yard. You throw this down real quick. Height of cut is over here. Okay. Now in transport mode, it does that. It's a heel release. So the second bar below is the heel release. The base of that is. Oh yeah, that's good for going up on a trailer too. Correct. Up and yeah. down. Yeah. And this guess for you when you walked up there, that's your maximum height for the first trailer ramp clear. And you actually have quite a bit of room on this commercial deck to, to get up. You can see it's a blade. It's hard to see. It's light. Um, that's the specialized coating that we were talking about. But what this does, this is what makes this thing throw three rows over. Why it doesn't wind row like the big competitors? What you're doing is we're creating massive airflow space. Do you remember the drawing that Juan yes. Rodriguez showed that showed the airflow? Yeah. Part of the secret of that is how we cut this back to precise angle. The other secret of that is this is a little stiffer than a lot of the competitors use. Even in shipping, you'll see people, it'll sag a little bit. And then you, you get the wind, right? And because it shoots here and then you get a little row. But this, watch how far it throws. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's just a piece of the technology. I don't talk about this because it's not due to this platform. We ran this for, I think this is, uh, Jeremiah was this uh, five years on this deck style, I think, four or five um, years, something like that. Yeah. We ran. Yeah. So this was, this is just an older technology, but it works really well on this platform. This is spent. Oh wow! This is look at this spent. You get in there. That's crazy. So guys, I'm pretty much going to operate this off from the controls right here. I'm going to turn the unit on. I'm going to close it up, and it's neutral. Neutral. You got to be out. Yep. Okay. Out to start. Oh, out to start. Out to, out to start. start. Okay. Yep. Oh, but I want to move the seat back a little. So, or is that spot? That may be it. Um, All right. So out to start. So yep. I'm going to hit the start button right here.
think? Dude, this thing is awesome. It is it pretty crazy. It's nice. This is like. Like we were talking about earlier, it's got a lot of stuff that professionals have. I mean, the big cash is in the front. This is just nice. It's smooth. Cut yeah. I mean, you saw me run through how fast I was going through that thing. It's yeah. Awesome. They've done a pretty good job with it, guys. I'm pretty happy. Uh, I just wish the seat went back just a little yeah. bit further. There should be like, I, maybe this one didn't, I don't know. But other than that, I mean, it was pretty crazy. All your thing is controlled by the lap bars up here. All right, here's the upgraded Z380, guys. This is the little upgrade, better transmission, a little more power. What do you think of it, Josh, the Stony like Ridge it. Farmer? It's really nice. I really like sneezing, too. I've been I know. sneezing quite a bit today. Yes, so, yes. Yeah. Sweet. Anytime you sneeze around people, they're like, ah! It is one of the nicest blowers I've seen on the market. It won't suck in here. It has this nice little uh, control pad on the top. It's a great blower. Scraper on the front. And usually, we, we see a lot of blowers. Everybody's like, our blower's the best, our blower's the best. But this one is probably one of the top contenders if not the best i've seen so far on the market it's pretty amazing that just definitely blew me away when i came over here it's like blowers blah blah blowers but man that is a nice blower all right so this is our brand new lawn expert uh it's brand new this year to the market so it comes came with two pl dirty batteries and a qc250 charger so you'll get about 540 uh, watt hours in there uh to start it you push the start button, you have your three modes, so you don't have to interchange the blades for your modes. Starts in mulch mode, this is your sensing mode, and that's your boost mode. You always uh, mow in sensing mode, it's going to ramp up and down the RPM of the blades uh, to the thickness of the grass, so you never really have to change it. Uh, you have your battery gauge here, really all you do, and your uh, self propels right here as well. All you do is you pull down on it, you hit your start button, and it'll start right up. I mean, push these either bar or button there, and it'll, it'll stop the up. So the nice thing about it, it will run on one battery. Of course, we prefer two to get your 75 minutes of runtime and sensing mode. It does come with a side discharge, mulch plug, and a bag. Definitely easy storage. You push this little lever here. That sucks. You bring that down. You pull your side discharge kit out, and you flip it up, and it stores right in your garage vertically. Um, easy to blow it out if you want to clean it up, not a problem. Safety feature on here, it will not turn on in storage mode. I cannot get the blades to engage, so that's a good safety mode. It will not turn on. You got your warning light flashing here because it is in storage mode right now. Uh, so that's kind of our, that is our Lawn Expert LE322 lawnmower. Well, you said cool. it takes... Two batteries, but it'll run off of one. Two BLI 30 batteries, it will run off one here. Yeah, if I take one up, it'll still run. It'll still run here. So you, the uh, battery gauge went down to zero, and it'll still, and I got to restart because it, it was in uh, storage mode. Bring it down. It'll run off one and two batteries. Will it run on no battery? It will yeah. not run okay. on no batteries. It doesn't run on dreams. Okay. <laughs> I was just saying, that was impressive. Yeah. No battery. Yeah. These are well, it does, but it just won't yeah. yeah. hey, what, what if he's like, yeah, you just push a button and you spin this little yeah. thing here? And it... Drink it. So you consider it an 80 volt battery or is it a it's dual 40 volt? Dual, dual 40 volt, yeah. So these 40 volt batteries that work in all of our handheld max battery products, so they're all interchangeable. Um, when I'm done mowing the lawn, I take the BLI 30 out, put it in my. A handheld blower and use it with that just to clear the grass off. Um, I even use it in my uh, spring trimmer just to, to touch some stuff. <laughs> it's got enough juice. I have about a quarter acre. I get through it no problem with some juice left in the batteries. I always move with sensing mode though, and it gets you uh, that gets you where you need to go. Because that'll gauge it. That'll manage your runtime. It, it manages your runtime. That's where you're going to get your 75 minutes. Um, and I haven't been able to bog it down yet. I cut some pretty high wet grass with it and bagged it, and it, it got through my whole yard no problem on one charge. Crazy. Yeah, it's an it's a uh, excellent mower to the lineup this year. Tools in action. Check it out, Stony Ridge Farmer, the lawn <laughs> dude. I think his name was Chase. Great guy. We got Eric. This is it. It was cool. Osvarna definitely, that blower blew me away. They got some cool stuff.